Hello, this is Emmy Jakob and Courtney Brown, and this is Homework 12 for Engineering 460 at Liberty University, which is Digital Simulations. All right, for, so this homework, we're looking at basically problem number 12. Problem number 12 uses the box molar generator. Uh, basically, the box molar generator is the formula that you see below, which x equals the square root of negative 2 natural log of r1 uh, times the sine of 2 pi r2. So what we're looking at is that so basically, further suppose that R1 and R2 are obtained through a maximum period prime modulus generator. So R1 is J over M, and R2 is A times J mod M over M. So for any J in 1 to M minus 1, where A is 131 and M is 2 raised to the 31st minus 1, the problem says that show the largest positive value of X that can be generated, uh, which is approximately 3.54, that the largest negative value is approximately neg uh, negative 3.21. So in a random sample of 2 to the uh, 30th such variates corresponding to the number of variate produced over the entire period of such a generator, calculate the expected frequency of random variates that take values greater than 3.54 and less than negative 3.21, respectively. So basically what we're doing here is, uh, given an A, J, and an M, uh, find out through MATLAB how many values you'd have above 3.54, how many values you have below negative 3.21. So here's the MATLAB code. So basically, as you can see, if we set n relatively large, initialize our Cmax and Cmin, and basically one big for loop with some nested if loops, we can do this. We can say from i is equal to 1 to n, n being uh, the many iterations of the for loop, We've already set our a, m, and j, so our a is 131 given from the problem, our m is 2 to the 31st minus 1, and our j is 1 plus m minus 1 times a random number generator from MATLAB. Um, our r1 is given to us as j over m, and our r2 is given to us as well as a times j mod m over m. Now, what we want to look at is our upper and lower values. So our upper and lower values are 3.54 and negative 3.21. Respectively, here I've written them in exact values. The so square root of 2 times log, natural log of 524, and the lower is the negative square root of 2 times the natural log of 4 times 131 over 3. <clears throat> so what we want to do then is go through that random, sorry, that uh, box molar formula that we had, which was the square root of negative 2 times the log of r1 times sine of 2 pi times r2. So then once we have all the information initialized, we can say, hey, if x sub i is greater than that 3.54, then I want you to count it as a count max, so c max. And then go into the next if loop and basically say, well, if x sub i is lower, in other words, if, if x sub i is yeah lower than our negative 3.54, then count it as a c min. Then when you do that, uh, what I've done here is I've called TC max the total count of how many was or max above 3.54, and then I did a frequency of it. So give me a percentage, not really a percentage, but give me a frequency, basically C max over how many n we had. And the same thing I did with total count of the min, and uh, give me that from the C min, which is how many were less than three point negative 3.21, and then give me a frequency, and then give me a max x and a max uh, a min x. And then look at the percentage of the max, which is, again, my frequency of the max times 100, which is this percentage, again, and a percentage of the min. So with that being said, we're able to look at expected frequency of random variates that take values greater than 3.54 are about 0.0126%, and expected frequency of random variates that take values less than negative 3.21 are about 0.0047%. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.